Hi, I'm Chris Barney and this is All Things Possible and I want to welcome you and thank you for joining me as we talk this week about having and creating routines in our life. So positive routines that we put into our life to be more successful. There are a lot of things in our life that we get busy and we get a lot of things going on. And today I want to talk to you about having those routines in place, sticking to them, and creating our lives to be more successful. Before I do that though, I want you to join our community. If you have not joined All Things Possible in our community, I would like you to join with us. Get your free gifts. It's right here on the screen. And join us in allthingspossible.biz and, and get the things that we are do, giving you. Every, every month we come out with new topics, new blogs, new information, and you get both healing and all those things for my husband as well as the personal development side and the things that I talk about. So join our community right here at allthingspossible.biz and, and really have more success in your life. Be able to you know, take in some new ideas and, and really change some things up. So we'd love to have you join our community. Today I want to talk to you about routines. So creating positive routines to be more successful. Right now in our world, in, in my life right now, we're just wrapping up summer and going into fall. And what I can tell you is that every time there's a season change, there's a lot of change that goes on in our lives. And one of the areas is our routines and how things happen. In fact, when we get into this, right now I don't have any kids that are back to school, but if you have children going back into school, it's like, oh, there's a new bedtime. There's, you know, we get up at a certain time, we bath at a certain time, we have all these routines that we all of a sudden kick back into gear that we have let go for the summer with our children. And yet, do we do that with our whole life? Not just kids and whether or not we're gonna stay up late, right? And a lot of that, the routine comes with whether the sun's up or the sun's going down. But what I want to talk to you about is how important routines and putting those in place, positive routines that can really help us be more successful. So when I was a child, the biggest teacher, the best teacher about having routines, good habits, and being successful was my mother. We had routines and we knew what was going to happen when and what we had to do and what we had to have done before we could move to the next thing, right? Before we could go play, we had to have our chores done, we had to have homework done. We knew the routine. We knew there was going to be breakfast. We knew we had to have X, Y, and Z done before breakfast in the morning and <laughs> that was, maybe this is dating me, but we had hot breakfast. We had sit down breakfast together. It was wonderful, but that was part of our routine. What is your routine? What routine are you creating for both yourself, your kids, your spouse? What routines do you have in place? Now me, myself right now, I have a routine where I have a morning routine where I do specific things. Some of the things that are included in that are some reading time as well as positive development, whether that's declarations or that's, you know, your positive, are you going to meditate? I have exercise in my routine. There are a lot of things that you need to have in your life and the only way it's going to happen is if it's scheduled. The only way you'll get through these things is if it becomes a habit. Now for us to create it to be a habit, we've got to do it long enough that it becomes something that we're ready to do, that we know is going to happen, that we have in place, that we love, right? I can't tell you that I love to exercise, but I can tell you it's in my routine because I've done it enough that I know what's good for me and I know what we're going to be doing next. We need to put this and implement this in our whole life. I have morning routines, I have night routines, but if you're at work, there's also routines that you can put in place to work. I'm self-employed, I'm an entrepreneur, and if I do not have those routines in place, I am not very successful. If I do not have marketing going out, if I do not have set things, I film on certain days, I put a blog out certain days, newsletters go out certain times, I have a back office that can auto schedule. Those are routines and basically the structure okay, that I need in making sure that that's going to happen. Now a lot of that I say is systems, 
But before it was a system, it had to become a routine. You had to have something that you do the same and you do consistently. When we do this, we are more successful. And today's Today's episode is going to be really short and sweet because I want you to be more successful and there's a lot of little things that we can do to become that. One of the biggest things you can do to be more successful is to put good routines and good habits in place so that you are more successful. So besides the morning routine and the night routine for me, I have business routines. Certain things that I do in a specific manner certain things that I have that are my responsibility versus my assistant's responsibility. So find the things that you need to have as your, your commitment, your routine, your things to do, and hand off, be willing to hand off to someone else, but also set up a system or a routine in place for them. Now I, I mentioned that we do change with the seasons. Every season comes with different you know, weather patterns, different amounts of daylight, and, and those things really play a part in our life. But I love how when fall comes, we get more committed into that whole, all right, I'm gonna be more dedicated, we're gonna shift into, the, into gear. We take on that kind of back to school, especially if we had a good back to school experience where else it's like, all right, we're back to, we're gonna do homework, we're gonna be more serious, there's gonna be less TV, right? And those things happen. Well, what I can tell you is it really does make a huge difference. I was sick recently, and I always tell you stories and tell like this, ha ha, let's talk about Chris, right? So about springtime this year, just into winter, I got really sick, and I got double pneumonia. So pneumonia in both lungs, and it really put, set me down and set me back. And one of the habits or routines that I got into was Netflix. <laughs> So when you're not feeling good, you're kind of taking it easy, you're you know, on the couch, you're doing your thing, right? And one of the things I really noticed was that I got into a good routine of like, I automatically woke up at like five o'clock. There's nothing to do at five o'clock when you have double pneumonia. You can't exercise, because you can't breathe. <laughs> but you can watch Netflix, right? And there was so much time that I knew I had to have time downtime. I knew there were things to do. I could have spent my time more wisely, yet I chose to watch a whole season of, of an, a, an, a Netflix, right? A series on Netflix. And, and more than one series, right? Because I made it become my routine. My routine was like, oh, I can't sleep. I've been lounging or I've been napping and now I'm late at night watching Netflix. Now I'm up early watching Netflix. Now for years and years I wasn't a TV bug and in fact I didn't do TV hardly at all without another project. It drove me nuts until I don't know four or five years ago, about four years ago I had foot surgery and shoulder surgery. All these excuses, right? But it was like, oh I can watch a whole series, no commercials and it's kind of fun, right? Well those habits those routines can get in place too. So I want you to make sure that you're not creating bad routines, like come home from work, drop everything, plop on the couch, or spend too much time shopping, that your routine is actually shopping, or girl time or boy time, whatever that is, and that you don't have time for your kids. You don't have time for date night. You haven't worked it in. When you get good routines in place and you have good structure around your habits and you want success, you schedule that. So that brings time management into it. When you have time management, routines, and your success all combined, so if that's goal setting, whatever that is for you, and you break it down, you, you implement it, you put it into systems and routines, you will be more successful. And the other thing I can tell you is if you have something you want to add to your schedule, you want to add something to your routine, add it to something you already do. So if you already get ready in the morning, maybe you can add that, I want to listen to a, a, my life vision. I want to meditate and get my, my whole shower, sh you know, brush my teeth, get ready. Add it to something you already do to be more successful. That's one of the big, huge things that really helped me was I was able to multitask 
and add it to a system I already had in place. Add it to the routine. So my get ready routine included my ideal life vision. My get ready, my get up morning routine already included listening to positive reinforcement as well as exercise and moving forward. It also, my routine was water. It was giving me two bottles of water to start my day. Add what you want to what you already do. Add it to the routine. With kids, if you can get them into a routine of, I change my clothes to my pajamas, I take a drink, I brush my teeth, I go to the bathroom, I read, and I'm done. When you can put it into a routine, your children are more successful. When you are consistent with having them do the routine, they become self-efficient and they don't need you to tell them what's next. And you can say, have you done it? And they can answer. They can follow this. They can learn this very, very young. Many, many years ago, I owned a preschool and daycare, and I used to teach preschool things where it was like we had circle time at a certain time, we had free shoes at a certain time, we all washed our hands for snack at a certain time. The kids learned the routine, and they could go through the motions without me saying it. And if I tried to skip a piece and change up the schedule, they would question me. We're talking three, four, and five-year-olds. They knew the routine. They knew if we went more than 15 minutes for circle time, it was, they're done. They knew it. And they're like, teacher, it's this now. Miss Chris, Miss Chris, this. So routines can get you to the success you want when you put them in place. Now, I'm not an advocate of, it's such a structured routine that you can't shift it and do anything else, that you can't change it, you can't, you know, rock the boat. I believe in being true and authentic and in the moment. So I can, I'm the first one to say, fly by the seat of your pants, be in the moment and have that happen. I don't, I don't have to stop at the same places when I drive, you know, certain places or I don't have to have that be a routine to me. But routines are very important. So as we go into this new season change, I would like to empower you and encourage you to look over your routines. What needs to be added? What could be deleted? What could you release and let go so there's more room for new? And, and really check into those systems, see what you could be more successful at and how you could make adjustments. Now, just like I told you, I added this Netflix thing when I was sick and it, it became a hard thing to break. It became a thing of like, oh, well, I, I still wanna do that and if I wake up early, what am I gonna do? So if there's a thing that you're trying to, to delete from the routine or that, that you would like to have less of, the same thing, replace it with something that is a positive and add it to that and do it consistently until it becomes basically a habit and then it can become your routine. I hope you've enjoyed the few tidbits I've given you. My question to you is why is it important? Why is it important to have routines? Why is it important to set this up and to take advantage of it? What I can tell you is you're creating routines whether you like it or not. You are human. We automatically get into a routine of how we do things, how we put our socks on, which leg we put in our pants first. We create these anyway. Create them intentionally. Create them so that you are more successful and that you move forward faster, that you get more accomplished. Because when we have routines in place and we follow it and, and we have, we're intentional about how we're doing it, we are more successful. We are more productive. We stay in accomplishment mentality which raises our self-esteem. When our self-esteem raises, we get more done. Other people recognize what's happening for us. We have raises at work. There's so many different ways that this plays out in our lives that you need these in place. You're going to be setting them anyway. You will, you will put routines in place, whether they're good or bad, just like my Netflix, right? You will be establishing these in your life. So be conscious of where you've put them in, what ones you want to change, and now's as good a time as any to take some time to shift that and consciously create what you want. Thanks for joining me here. I'm again Chris Barney, and if you haven't joined our community, we'd love to have you here with us at allthingspossible.biz. We love to have 
you glean from the information that we're giving you. We love to give you tips and tools and ways that you can improve your life, your success, and create the life that you love. So we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.